Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We're going to be talking about graphing lines from slope intercept form. So hopefully you have already watched our video on slope or know something about slope. When we talk about slope intercept form, we're talking about your equation being solved for y, and particularly y equals mx plus b. Uh, and if you remember this idea, b is our y-intercept and m is our slope. So that's why it's called slope-intercept form because if, as we read it, it tells me the slope, it also tells me the y-intercept. So when I read y equals two-thirds x plus one right here, and I'm gonna graph that, uh, my slope is two-thirds and this tells me that my b or my y-intercept equals one. So what we'll do first when we graph these is we will start at our y-intercept. So we're gonna start at b, so it's kind of like reading it right to left, I guess. So we'll go positive one on the y-axis would be up one, so there's our y-intercept. And now we'll use slope to get another point. So we're gonna get another point from slope being two-thirds. And the way we'll do that is we will think of this as rise over run. So remember that slope is like rise over run. Uh, rise is going to be the y change. So this is the y change. And run is going to be the x change. So if I look at two-thirds, my rise is two, which means I would go up two. And my run, being sideways, is three. So then I go three. And I get to this point if once I go up two and over three. And then I simply draw my line through those two points. And that is my line for the equation y equals two-thirds x plus one. Okay, let's do a couple more. So here I have y equals negative one-fourth x plus five. So x and y axis. Couple of things, we're gonna start at b. So b is five, so I will go up five. One, two, three, four, five. Y intercept first of five. And then this is my slope. Slope equals negative one fourth. Now with a negative out front of the fraction, you could choose the negative to be uh, with the one or you could choose it to be on the bottom with the four. What we're going to do uh, just to be consistent here is to always consider the negative on top. Uh, so I'm gonna put it with the one just as we're considering slope. Um, so the bottom's always gonna be positive, which means you're always gonna be reading slope to the right, never reading it to the left. You can do it any way you want, um, but I'm gonna do that through this video and through some others as well on our site, uh, just so that we're consistent, we're not changing the method as we go. So if my rise is negative one, that means I'm going down one. So that's a rise of negative one. My run is positive four, so that's gonna to be to the right four. So if I go down one and over four, then that puts me at this point here. And then I simply need to draw my line through those two points. And we get our graph of negative one fourth x plus five. Here we have one y equals three x minus four. So for this one, starting at b, b is negative four. So negative four on the y-axis would mean down four. So we'll go down one, two, three, four, and plot our y-intercepts. So that's one point. Now our slope here is three. And if you're not sure what to do with that, because it doesn't look like rise over run, then we would change three into a fraction. And three is a fraction. Remember, any whole number as a fraction is gonna be that number over one. So now thinking of it as a fraction, we can see that our rise is going to be three and our run is gonna be one. So if I rise three, I will go up one, two, three. If I run one, I only go over one unit. I've gone up three and over one, because that's my slope. And then we'll simply plot our line right through that set of points there. Okay, good, and let's do one more. Y equals one half X. So this looks like we don't have any B, right? Where is B? B is missing. Well, if there's no B written, Y equals one half X, that's the same as saying Y equals one half X plus what? Plus nothing, there's no term there, right? So really, 
my y-intercept is zero. So on the y-axis, I'm going to plot my y-intercept at zero, which is at the origin. Same idea though from here, now I use my slope is one over two, my rise is one, my run is two. So I go up one and I go over two. Up one over two gives me this point. And then I can go ahead and plot my line through those two points. Okay, last one here, similar at negative 5 fourths x. Again, you want to think of plus zero. Sort of not written there, but that's really what is assumed there. There's no b written, so b is going to be zero in this case. So again, when we go to graph the y-intercept first, always y-intercept first, we'll graph at y equals zero, which is at the origin. Here, our slope is negative five over four, so I will think of the negative with the five, and I'll consider the four to be positive. So when we're looking at rise and run, my rise is actually a negative five, meaning we go down five, so one, two, three, four, five. Run going four, positive four is to the right. So we have down five and over four, and it gives me that point there. And just like before, we can go ahead and draw our line through those points. Okay, hopefully this has helped you with some graphing from slope-intercept form.